evolution to an extent of becoming a smart species is something only humans have pulled off till now. Evolution from mere apes to a species that has the power to destroy planets and invent bleeding edge technologies is by far the best. Along with evolution of humans as species, a body has evolved as well. The organs and the container, which is the body, all of them have evolved so well over the years. Now that we have the complete human body, the question arises that why in the world do we need a pair, a set for some organs and why we need only one for some. Nature is the most genius mathematician. The symmetry of this universe is undeniably beautiful. There's symmetry in plants, mountains, the stars, planets and even massive nebulas. One can find symmetry in every second or third thing nature has made. And so symmetry is a keen part of a human body. You can see for yourself, we've got everything in symmetry, from head to the feet. Everything is equal when we split it in half. Scientists believe, and so do we to some extent, that having pairs of organs is not just a sign of redundancy. In other words, having a pair does not mean that the body is keeping a spare. In fact, almost every organ pair is equally important to the proper functioning of the body. For instance, we have a pair of eyes. Obviously, we can see with one eye too. But it's the presence of the other eye that provides us with the sense of depth. This property helps creatures like frogs and chameleons focus on and attack the prey and can better deal with predators. In our case, what would the world be like if we could never sense depth? With both eyes, we can continuously see a 3D movie without the need of a special glass. And that is just one small example of the bare benefit. Now let's talk about kidneys. You've surely heard of kidney donations, wherein a person donates one of their kidneys to someone else. Does that affect the donor? Yes, it does, but not immediately. A study in the journal Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation looked at how people fared after they had one of the kidneys removed. It was found that there was not much effect for the next 16 years, but after a period of 24 years, subjects began to experience some adverse effects. Does that mean one would be super energetic or smart if he or she had two hearts or brains? Well, the human body is biologically evolved in such a way that it makes the most of whatever we have, whatever the resources it is equipped with. In other words, since we have a pair of hands, our body functions at its optimum level, with two hands at its disposal. However, a person who has multiple amputations can also live a perfectly functional life. This is because the body reorganizes the functions of the rest of our body parts to be in sync with only one hand rather than two. This is probably the reason why people with amputations develop unusual strength in their own hands or limbs. Since the body already functions at 100%, it wouldn't make much of a difference if we had two brains. One physiologist, Bruce Martin at Indiana University says, the brain is already getting more than enough blood to it, so it wouldn't function at a high level. Interestingly, the case of the heart is different. As a fetus, we actually have two hearts, which develop and fuse to become one heart. When we are in the embryonic stage of development, we actually do have two hearts. The heart primordia in the embryonic stage is actually two hearts, which eventually fuses together into one heart, with four chambers. Embryologists in the 1920s and 30s kept the heart primordia from fusing in embryonic frogs, and the frogs that grew up developed two hearts, the same also applies to our eyes. We begin with one primordia of the eye, which eventually separates to form two. Furthermore, the heart is usually near the middle of the chest, which actually makes the body even more symmetrical. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to have two hearts. And if we could figure out how to harness maximum power from the both, then we would become superhumans for sure. Who knows, maybe the next big screen superhero will be a heart man. Stranger things have happened.